Lately in the Senate and the House of Representatives, there's, there's been great uproar about the drinking age and possibly lowering the drinking age. I personally have taken great interest into this matter. So much, in fact, that I decided to do my persuasive speech on this matter. It's well known that, you know, when a child turns 18, they're presented with a lot of opportunities. They are considered legally an adult. And these opportunities, for example, are that, you know, they're allowed to buy tobacco products, they can join the armed services, they can vote, and if they break the laws, they can be arrested and be put in jail and face the consequences of that. However, still, after all these things, you're legally an adult, however, you can't buy an alcoholic beverage. The drinking age right now is 21. Everyone knows that. I'm going to tell you four reasons why I believe that the drinking age should be lowered back to 18 and hopefully persuade you enough to vote on this matter in the next coming election. One, if you're considered an adult, why not be able to buy an alcoholic beverage? Two, why is the, why is the age to buy tobacco 18 but not alcohol? Three, how the drinking age used to be 18 and why it was changed. Four, how our minimum drinking age correlates to other countries. First, if you're considered an adult, why can't you make the adult decision and buy and consume an alcoholic beverage? Growing up, a lot of adults around me drank. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just what they did. So, by them drinking and establishing their adulthood and us being 18 legally an adult why can't we assert our adulthood too one thing that jumps out to me is if you're 18 you can go off overseas serve your country and fight for your country's freedom however you still can't drink makes no sense to me secondly why is the drink why is the age to buy tobacco 18 but not alcohol tobacco is well known that it presents a lot of potential health risks for future and present users why can an 18 year old make the decision to use these products and make the decision to deal with these consequences of using these products however they can't do the same for alcohol not saying that alcohol doesn't present any risk, which it does, and it, it presents great risk, but why can't you be able to make the decision to deal with those consequences the same as using tobacco products? Thirdly, the drinking age was once 18 and why it was changed. Back in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, the drinking age used to be 18. In fact, there was no government there was no set limit between the states. Each state had their own. This turned and created blood borders. For example, if teens were in one state where the drinking age was 20, 21, and the state over was 18, they would drive over to the next state, drink there, and then drive back home after been drinking, which as if you connect the dots, clearly presented a lot of traffic fatalities. Organizations such as Mothers Against Drunk Driving began pushing for a national drinking age of 21 to eliminate the blood borders and to take alcohol out of the hands of supposedly less mature 18 year olds. In 1984, the minimum drinking Age Act of 1984 was passed and the drinking age has been 21 ever since. Now me personally, I believe that if there was a universal age limit of 18, much like there is 21 now, it would have eliminated a lot of the, it would have eliminated the blood borders and not made teens drive across states to drink. They could have just drank in their own town and went down the road or something. Everyone knows that the longer you're in a car, drinking or not, presents more of a risk of you being in a traffic accident. 
Lastly, I want to talk about how the drinking age correlates from the U.S. to other countries. Out of 138 listed countries on Procon.org, only six have a minimum drinking age of 21. That's the highest limit out of countries polled. The minimum drinking age, legal drinking age, of all countries where it's legal to drink, the number of countries where it to be 18 to 19 is 85. That's 62% of the countries told, as to 4% of countries that have a drinking age of 21. In conclusion, I believe based on these facts that I presented you with, the logical choice is for the drinking age to be 18. I have told you why if you are considered an adult, why you can't, why you aren't able to buy an alcoholic beverage why the age of tobacco is 18 and why alcohol isn't. Three, how the drinking age was once 18. And four, how the minimum drinking age correlates to other countries. I believe based on this speech, I've done my part to help this cause. The only thing left to do is when you go and vote and get your ballot in the next election, that you bubble in that dot that lowers the drinking age back to 18. Thank you and have a nice day.